Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for the Happy Holidays cat bow tie. You can see Melba wearing hers here. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And happy holidays, catch you soon. Okay, for this project you'll need some yarn. I'm using this uh, for the main part of my bow. It's in a 100% acrylic yarn with a, a metallic thread through it. So it's very, very Christmassy looking. You'll need a feather yarn for the border of your bow tie. You'll need a 4mm crochet hook, a darning needle with a large eye and a relatively sharp point. You'll need some scissors to snip off your ends. And you'll also need a tape measure to both measure the circumference of your cat's neck but also to measure the length of your band. Okay, and just a quick word on the techniques that you'll need to know to uh, make this bow tie. It is a beginner project, beginner friendly. Um, you'll need to know how to slip knot onto your hook, how to make a chain, how to single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And then uh, after that, it's just a technique, some techniques of sewing the bow to the band. So it's definitely beginner friendly, and let's get started. Okay, to get started, slip knot onto your hook, however you do that. And then you'll need to decide whether you're making a small, medium or large size bow. I'm going to offer you three sizes here. So for a small, uh, chain 15. For a medium, chain 17. And for a large, chain 19. Now that will depend on the look that you're going for, whether your cat is a larger cat or a smaller cat. I'm going to make a small size today. So chain 15. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, so no, no matter what size you're making, count the third chain from the hook and insert a double crochet. Next chain along, a half double crochet. And then for the next um, few stitches up until the last, or a few chains, up until the last two in, the, in, in this chain, you'll just insert single crochet. So for a small size bow that will be nine, the next nine chains are single crochet. For a medium it'll be the next 11. And for a large, it'll be the next 13. But just move along. You don't need to count. Just leave those last two chains. And then we'll mirror what we did at the beginning of this first row. So this will just give a little bit of height to the corners of the bow. So in that second to last chain, a half double crochet. And then in the last chain, a double crochet. Okay, so the first and the sixth row will be like that, which will just give a little bit of height to the corners to create a more emphasized bow shape. Now moving on to row two, and row two will be the same all the way up through to row five. So rows two to five will be this same same uh, row. So chain one and turn, and then add single crochets all the way along the second row. So keep going for rows two to five, rows of single crochet, chain one and turn. And I'll meet you at the end of my row five. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of my fifth row here. I'll just place those last few single crochets into the end of row five. And then we're going to move on to the sixth and final row that will, will be the same as the first row. So chain two this time for the sixth row. Turn your work. Double crochet into that first stitch. Sometimes a bit hard to pull through. Half double crochet into that. 
half double crochet into the next stitch. I've just joined two ends of yarn together there, so it's a little bit harder to pull through. Okay, and then single crochet all the way along. As you did on row one, so for nine stitches for my small size bow here, until you've got those last two at the end. Right the way along. Ooh, let's, let's just undo those last two, redo those. Like I said, with this metallic thread, it can sometimes be a little bit splitty. Okay, so my last single crochet, second to last stitch, the half double crochet, and then your final stitch, a double crochet. Okay, and that's the main part of your bow finished. So you'll notice that these, these corners just sit up slightly. So once you pinch in the middle, it will uh, make a more pr prominent bow shape. So you can just yarn over and pull through here. And if I can even <laughs> do that with this, with this yarn, let's go back. Do that half double crochet again. And then yarn over, pull through. And you don't need a long tail, just enough to either weave in or work in with your border. Okay, so we just give that a little tighten. Okay, so you've got the main part of your, your bow here. Now you can choose at this point to uh, weave in your ends if you want to. I'm just going to work them in. I prefer to work in ends wherever I can. So take your, your feathered yarn and we're just going to tie on to one of the corners. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to tie into the one where we, we finished. So the way I tie in, I just insert my hook, place my yarn over, pull through with the long end and then I'll chain one. Now, like this metallic yarn, the feathered yarn is not the easiest to crochet, but it's also quite forgiving, so yeah, it has its plus and minus. So you've yarned over, pulled through, I've chained one, and then insert a single crochet back into that same space that you, that you tied onto. And then working in your ends, or you can just sew them in or weave them in at the end, or this red one you need to do before you start the border. But if you're working them in, just place them along the border. And then place single crochets evenly spaced along that short edge. And there'll be approximately one at the end of each of your rows. So just work those across. all the way down to the next corner. And in each corner you'll place two single crochets just to help with the, the turn. Okay, there's two and I think I'll snip off that end now of my, of my yarn. Okay. And then working along this next edge so it'll just be one for me the way I'm going it'll be one in each of those chains moving across now just to be to be careful because it's feathered yarn you can sometimes miss the one the immediate stitch next so just make sure that you're getting one into each of those chains or stitches moving along and then you'll continue just as we are here. So one single crochet in each stitch, in each top of each row on the short edge, work in your other tail. And then I'll meet you when we're back at the beginning here. Okay, I'm back at the end of my round here. So I'm just putting my last single crochet 
in there and then because you only added one in that bring it that first corner you'll place a second one into that beginning corner okay so there you've got your very Christmassy looking bow so pull through and snip off your end And then here you will weave in this tail end. So I'll just leave you, I'll do that off camera, and I'm just going to weave in that tail end down through here. And I'll meet you back here and we'll start forming the bow. Okay, so I've got my rectangle here, and I'm going to start to form it into a bow. So take some red, some of your red threads, or whichever color you're using for the main part of the bow, fold it, your rectangle in half and just to get that center point and then place your your thread over that center point okay now leave a good tail at both ends pinch into the middle and then start wrapping one of your ends around that center point so you need to pull quite tightly to get a nice bow shape. Obviously don't pull so hard that you break your yarn. Wrap one of those tails around two or three times. Like I said, keep pulling nice and tight. And then wrap the other tail around the opposite way two or three times. Just keep adjusting your bow so it's sitting how you want it to sit. That's two pull through or pull nice and tightly so you've got one wrapping one way the other one wrapping the other way meeting at the back once you've got you can make a thicker center point if you want to I tend to wrap two or three times in each direction but you could you could make that thicker if you wanted to and then pulling tightly tie a double no double knot at the back so, let's pull that all the way through and again pull nice and tightly at the back there check your bow again just make sure it's how you want it to sit and then make a double knot Okay, there we go. Now leaving, like I said, leave a good length of tail on both ends. I'll just snip off the long end of my yarn. So I leave, I leave a good amount. It's probably around 20, 20 to 30 centimeters of tail on each end. We'll you be using those to sew onto the band. So there you go with your, your bow and we'll move on to making the band. Okay, so for the band, slip knot onto your hook. And then you'll need your tape measure to measure the neck circumference of your cat. So measure it nice and snugly. And then you'll add up to three centimeters onto that length. So I'll work in centimeters. Um, so for example, Melba's neck is 24 centimeters and I add an extra two centimeters to her measurements. Um, it's not an exact science. And if you've got your cat with you, you can of, of course keep trying on your band and make sure that it's where you want it to be. You also need to allow for it to fit over your cat's head. So for some cat breeds, they have a very fine neck in relation to the width of their head. So you'll need to add a, f a little bit extra, so that's why up to three centimeters, to make sure that it fits over their head and then, then around their neck. So for a larger cat, perhaps it has a, a larger neck in relation to the width of their head, you may not need to add as much, so you may be okay with just adding a centimetre. For Melba, I add two centimetres. And that's as a general rule, if, if you measure snugly the, the circumference of your cat's neck, 
add two centimeters generally you'll be fine to be able to slip it over their head and uh, of course if, if your cat's with you you can you can just keep keep checking that it, it's uh, it's where you want it to be. So to start your band, chain three, and then finding the second chain from the hook, insert single crochet, and then a single crochet in the last chain. So the band is really that simple. You're just going to work a single crochet band, chaining one and turn, single crochets all the way until you've reached your desired length of band. So like I said, I'm going to I'm going to go to till about 26, 25, 26 centimeters for Melba. So you keep going until you've reached your length of band that you want and I'll come back and meet you once we're there. Okay, so I'm at the length of uh, the band that I want. It's around 25, 26 centimeters. So I'm just going to yarn over and pull through. <laughs> Still having trouble with this yarn. There we go. Pull through and I'll just snip off that end. I'll leave enough so I can just sew the two ends of this band together. Pull that tight. So take your darning needle and thread one of the ends through the eye. So we're just going to sew this this band into a into a ring that will fit over your cat's neck. So um, just make sure that it's not twisted, of course. Take your yarn and just do a simple simple stitch across from one end to the other Just so threading over Ooh. threading over Just so it's secure and creating a loop Right through to the other side. There you go. And if you're on, if you finish with your tails on on the same side, you can just do a little double knot. Um, if they're not on the same side, it it doesn't matter. You're just going to weave those in anyway. But I'll just do a double knot just to secure it a little bit more. And now just take your, actually just a, I'll just do a single knot there. And then just take your, your darning needle and we'll sew these, these, or just weave these ends in. So thread again. And just to weave in your ends, I'm going to assume that you're familiar with doing that. But just, you're just going to weave your, weave your end through. You know, you can come backwards and forwards a few times if, if you like that for security. I'm just going to go through once and uh, and snip off the excess and I'll do that on both sides and once you've done that uh, meet me back here and we'll uh, start to sew the bow onto our band okay so I've woven in my ends there and I'll just snip off the excess And then I will turn my band in the other way. So we've got the two pieces here now. We're going to uh, sew the two together. So using these long tail ends that you've left on the bow, thread your darning needle with one of those ends. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'll just show you the way that I do it, the way that I sew the bow to the band but you can you know if you've got a if you've got a way that you'll do it then then, then go for it so I'm just going to make sure I, this is the this is the area that I sewed together so I'm going to place that right under the center of the bow and then using one side of the of the uh, tail one tail I'm going to put that 
through one, just to one side. My join seam is in here, and I'm just going to put that to one side of the join seam. And then with the other, the other tail, I'm going to work it into the, just on the other side of that join seam. So I, what I do is I work with one side tail up and down one side of the center line, and then with the other tail I work up and down through the other side of the center line. So I've gone in there. I'm just going to come back up and just to one side of the center. If you can see there, I'm just coming up on one side of the center line there. So this is this side that I'm going to work in. And it's quite thick layers, so it might take a little bit to get your needle through. Just work it through. So I'm going to work up and down and then back through, center here. Try and get it in between the stitches if you can, and back into the, the band. Pull that through. So just we continue weaving up and down, up and down. I tend to do it two or three times each side, and then you'll have your, your bow sewn on. Just keep, as you go, just keep adjusting. Make sure it's centered on the band as you want it to be centered. And then just keep weaving these ends through. And yeah, just be careful that you don't catch the catch the feathers of the border. So that's one with that side. I'll go ahead and I'll do the other side as well off camera. And then we're just going to weave these tail ends into the back. So I'll come back and join you. Once I've sewn my bow onto this band, I'll uh, come back and I'll, we'll just finish off underneath together. Okay, so I've finished off with my uh, two tails and sewing on my my bow. I try to finish with the, the two tails quite close together at the back so I can just tie a, a double knot in the back there. So it's nice and secure. And then, as you can see, I've left plenty of tail. I do tend to leave more than I need, but I'd rather have more than... than too little so I'll just chop off some of that excess and then I'm going to weave in my ends finally at the back just to uh, to finish off so you once again thread your darning needle and then just weave your your two ends okay so then I'm just going to weave these ends, one into one side, one into the other side. Okay, I've finished my bow tie here. I've woven in my, my ends, my tail ends, and I've snipped off the excess. I've also just been around and, and tidied up the border. Sometimes there can be uh, a few little threads hanging out, especially with this metallic yarn. And also with the feather yarn, you might find that you just need to tidy that up a little. But otherwise, you're done. So congratulations. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we would love to see photos of your kitty wearing his or her Happy Holidays cat bow tie. So please either send those to us via email, catventurous.community at gmail.com. You can also tag us on social media at catventurouscrochet. Or you can uh, also tag Mel Melba at adventurepussmelba. So thanks once again for joining us here and wishing you all very happy holidays. Take care. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to this video. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to the video for this happy holidays cat bow tie. <laughs> Melba, ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's go.